Hi, I'm Claire Snowden-Darling from Balance Wellness, and this is a little video about IBS. IBS affects one in five people in the UK and is a very painful long-term condition of the digestive system. Our clinical experience shows us that IBS is also related to our glandular system, our endocrine system, which is the system that makes all of our chemical hormones that govern our body. What happens when we're really, really stressed is our body makes a, a, a hormone called cortisol, and cortisol actually slows down our small intestine's ability to absorb our food. And so what happens is everything gets a bit messed up, and by the time the food is hitting the large intestine, the large intestine either doesn't know what to do with the food so it kind of gets constipated or it tries to throw it out so we end up with diarrhea. Other symptoms of IBS include bloating, uh, wind, feeling nauseous, griping, loads and loads of different sort of digestive discomfort and often people don't know what to do. So we have three top tips and that is the first top tip is to breathe. Breathe really, really deeply into your belly, which is the last thing that you're going to want to do. But actually, by breathing deeply, you reduce the stress hormones that are raging around your body, and you start to massage your internal organs. And so actually, everything can start to get back to balance. The other thing that we would recommend is to drink water. And again, by drinking water, we're allowing the stress hormones to come out of our body. And again, water feels like something we don't really want to do when we've got, and especially when we've got an IBS attack. So what you can do instead is to actually drink warm water. And this, again, will start to change the muscle spasms going on in the intestines. What you can also try and do is to see if there are any chemical imbalances going on. So a way to find out if there's not enough acid or enzymes in your system is to take a little bit of apple cider vinegar, swallow that, you can have it in a little bit of water, wait 20 minutes. If after 20 minutes your IBS has gone, then there can actually be an indication that there's not enough acid in your stomach. However, if it doesn't go, wait a little while and then try putting some bicarbonate of soda into some water and this has an alkalizing effect and then if the IBS goes you know that actually you need some more alkaline sort of stuff going on so different digestive aids and enzymes. Once you've figured out that then you can start to understand the pathway that your IBS is taking. If you'd like some more advice on IBS then please get in touch with us www.balancedwellness.co.uk or find us on Facebook.